Hey guys, this is the hike to Mount Lukens. Uh, it's a fun one. Mount Lukens is the highest point within the city of LA. So Mount Baldy, highest point within the county of LA. Lukens, city of LA. San Gorgonio, highest point in Southern California. Whitney, highest point in the lower 48. Denali, highest point in North America. Everest, highest point on Earth. Anyway, Mount Lukens is where you start on that progression. Um, it's about a 10 mile hike, it's a loop hike. There's a few ways to get up here. This is like the most popular loop. And it's popular for a reason because it's kind of steep going up and then you have a more gradual downhill. Gradual being relative, but it's a little bit easier on your knees. And uh, it's nice, it's a nice hike. Even though it's in the city of LA, it doesn't feel like the city of LA. It feels like you're in Angeles National Forest because you are for a while. Um, unfortunately, the summit has towers on it, but uh, it's still a beautiful hike. Um, Got about a little under 3,000 feet of climbing, and uh, and yeah, it can get pretty hot in the summer, so do it early or do it in the off season when the sun's not too crazy. Um, and if you want to know about parking, there's like specific times, the lots open, and all that fun stuff. So just go to hikingguy.com, and I have all the information, the maps, all the standard stuff that I have. And uh, otherwise, enjoy the turn by turn. The parking area and facilities are pretty cool. Uh, there's bathrooms and a little picnic area and a place to fill up your water bottles. Uh, the trailhead's a little tricky. You just go to the end of the parking lot and you look for the uh, trail board, which you should obviously read. And there it is. There's a few ways to go up, actually. This is the nicest way. But just head up the trail by the trail board here and keep going straight. And you're going to pass by uh, a little shelter and an intersection. You're going to just keep going straight through here. Eventually there's a fence on the right, you can see it over there, but just keep heading straight on this trail. Eventually you're going to see this turn off and it's marked as the Vineyard Trail, which will connect to Crescentia View uh, in a little bit. But you're going to go down here through the stream, bre the, through the stream bed. Um, if it has been raining out, the stream can uh, actually be passable. So uh, if it has been raining, just call the ranger station, but uh, usually it's pretty dry. I'm just gonna walk through there and there's a little wooded area that you're gonna go through. It's kind of hard to see the trail for a second, but you're gonna go through these benches. And then the trail becomes pretty well defined and more like a trail trail. And you're gonna start heading up here. And eventually uh, there is an intersection And you're just going to head to the right. And these are a few little cutoffs that go over to the uh, to the main road that you saw when you came in. At this intersection, you're going to make the hard right, and you'll be on the Crescentia View Trail, which you'll be taking up to Mount Lukens Road. And this will be a few miles of steady uphill. And you can see the trail is pretty easy to follow. Um, and you go up. Pretty soon you're going to go over switchbacks and you're going to be kind of on the edge here. Some people mentioned uh, online that they thought the edge was scary. If you have an acute fear of heights, this will probably be scary. But if you're just normal, um, you know, respect of heights, you should be fine. You can see it's a pretty wide trail and there's nothing treacherous here to worry about. The views are great though, um, which is a benefit of climbing. One of the interesting things about Mount Lukens is it's named after a guy named Theodore Lukens, who uh, was, I think he was mayor of Pasadena, but he was also a buddy of John Muir. And he went up to Yosemite and helped John Muir map out and survey the Hetch Hetchy area. And then he came back here and worked in the Sierra Club, and now it's called Mount Lukens. It used to be called um, Sister Elsie or Elsa Peak after a nun who allegedly helped with people with smallpox here, but around the 1920s, the maps changed and uh, became Mount Lukens, so. There's a little cutoff here to the left that brings you up to a viewpoint. And overall on this hike, there's a lot of those little cutoffs because there's a lot of great viewpoints. Um, if you do happen to go on by one by mistake, you just turn around and come back and find the main trail. Now, if you want to camp out here, there's this really cool little windbreak about halfway up the Crescentia View Trail. 
where you can camp and obviously the views are pretty spectacular. Uh, I believe this is all backcountry camping so you can camp for free without a permit but you do I think need a permit for the stove but I would just call the ranger station and check on that. Now if you look at the maps it looks like there's a trail that goes straight kind of up towards Mount Lukens and that's it right there and it's obviously been overgrown. So you're going to make the right here and continue up the switchbacks. And to know you're on the right trail, there's a little stone seat coming up. Um, it's an easy one, especially if you're doing like automatic routing on your open street maps. It'll route you up that sort of overgrown trail, which is not really a trail at this point. But anyway, you're going to keep heading up here and you're going to go keep going up the switchbacks. You'll see some little cutoffs on the switchbacks. It's easy to kind of walk straight. So just be aware of where you're going as you cut up here and follow your map and GPX. And eventually the trail will sort of level out on this plateau and you'll see Mount Lucan's even closer in the distance up there on the left. And you're just going to go straight here and you're going to get some awesome views down to the right into the valley. And this section's nice because it's not as steep as the last couple miles, so it'll give you a little opportunity to catch your breath. Now eventually here, you're going to come up to the junction of Mount Lucan's Road. You're going to make the left here. And this road follows the ridge line. There's no uh, vehicles on here aside from service vehicles, but you're going to get nice views over to the right into Angeles National Forest and all of the peaks in there. That's really beautiful. This trail uh, is more like a road, as you can see, but you're going to keep going straight up on this. It's going to twist around a little bit. Eventually, you're going to come to this big intersection at the summit, and you're going to just walk straight through here to get up to the summit. And you're going to pass that little helicopter landing pad, and you will come up to the summit area. So you'd logically think that this was the summit because it seems like the highest point here. And you can see we have awesome views down to LA. A lot of marine layer today, but over here, nice views of the towers if you like the towers. But Angeles National Forest over there. The actual summit marker is this coyote turd right here. That's the summit, just kidding. The summit marker is kind of hidden. It's by this big rock here. And it's right there. So there you are, highest point in LA County. When you're done at the summit, you go back to that main intersection um, where the radio towers were and you make the left. Now it doesn't look like there's a trail to the left, but there is, I assure you. Um, and you can see sort of the beginning of it here it's small, but eventually it turns into a trail trail and a few hundred feet, as you see here. Um, now, as you go down, you're going to have a nice uh, long descent in front of you. Just take your time, enjoy the views, uh, beautiful views over to the right into Angeles National Forest. I believe this is called Haynes Canyon Road. Um, not quite a road, but... Uh, at one point it probably was. There is actually a old Volkswagen that's run off the road farther down. Keep your eyes peeled, you can see it sometimes. You're gonna keep going straight here. This is the old Mount Lucan's Trail to the right. A lot of mountain bikers take that, but you're gonna be going straight. And there are mountain bikes on this trail, so just keep your eyes open. Not a whole bunch, but occasionally you'll see them. Over here to the left, there's another little viewpoint, but you're gonna to continue to go right. This is an important intersection and it's an easy one to miss. You have to look for this pole here. You're gonna make the left and go down on the uh, Rim of the Valley Trail. Now you can see the trail sort of splits apart and comes together. There's a lot of that on this section. Um, they all generally lead to the same place, but if you follow these directions, you'll be fine. Um, and this first one, you're just gonna go sort of to the right of that summit there and continue along. This is helpful to have uh, like a GPX file too, just to make sure you're in the right place. There are some markers. You can see there's a marker here. Sometimes the trail's hard to spot, especially on a switchback. So again, just keep your eyes open and continue to head down. And you'll sort of 
see the trail you came up, the Crescentia View Trail, on the other side of the valley here as you go down. Eventually you're going to come to this little wooded area and there's some debris. It doesn't feel like you're in the right place because it's very different than the rest of the trail, but you are. I'm just going to continue along here. And there's some water down here in a little stream. It's nothing I would fill my bottle with, but uh, it is overgrown, so just watch out for poison ivy. Poison, sorry, poison oak over here. And after that little stretch, you're going to climb again. This is the last little climb before you go downhill, which will feel harder than it is. You can see there's more trails here. I'm going to continue to the right, um, but we're coming back to the park area. So there's a lot of little trails that kind of bifurcate and split off around here. At this intersection, you're going to head to the left. This will be kind of intuitive. You're going to head towards the picnic area, which you'll be able to see occasionally off to your right. You can kind of see it down there, the reservoir and the park area. Another trail marker for another trail. You're going to continue to the right here. And this trail sort of zigzags down. It's a nice little wind down after the climb descent. You're going to continue down here, and you're going to see eventually a little picnic area. It's going to be another long switchback. You're going to come back around here on this last little section. And just keep going straight here, avoid any little side trails, and eventually you're going to come out to the road that goes back into the park, and you'll see the trail that you came up on, um, kind of across here to the left, the one that you came up and cut down the vineyard trail to. That will be right over there. Then you just continue down the, uh, the paved road here. So that's it. That's the hike. Once you get on that paved section, come back to the parking lot, the bathrooms, and all the facilities. So if you want to do the hike, go to hikingguy.com. I've got the maps and parking info, all that fun stuff. And if you happen to be watching this on YouTube, if you could do me a huge favor and click that little thumbs up button on the bottom, that'll help other people find the video and hopefully do the hike safely and not walk off a cliff or something horrible like that. Anyway, that's uh, Lucan's Mountain, and I'll see you guys out there.